Lip products for women over 50. Hi, I'm Laura Ray. Today I want to share with you products I've been trying out, some of these for a very long time, that I'm really enjoying. I love lip products. It's my all-time favorite makeup product. I love lip scrubs. I love the balms, the overnight treatments, lipstick, lip oils, all of it. So I have some I've been using, some for a little while, some for a very long time. They're just ones that I reach for all the time. And I know that many of you love lip products too, so I thought it would be great to have a video where I share a variety of products that I'm enjoying. A very unique product from Milani is this new Keep It Full Max Lip Balm. It's a balm, but it feels sort of like a jelly at the same time. There's nothing like it on the market that I've ever tried. It smooths out the lips, the lip lines. It's more of a matte look. So if you like a shiny gloss, this isn't shiny at all, but I love the texture of it and the feel. And again, it's very unique. It does have that peppermint feel because it's a plumping balm but I really enjoy it. It's so affordable. A lot of these plumping balms on the market are very expensive, at least $30, some more than that. So I think this is a great replacement. One I've recommended for a long time since my friend gave it to me a couple of years ago is the Lucas Papaw Ointment. This saved my hands when I was burnt. I burnt myself on a curling iron and I put this on and a very severe burn cleared up in a day or two. I couldn't believe it. This is amazing for the lips. You can use it all over the body. You could use it on dry spots on the body, your nails and cuticles. I love it for the lips. It feels so good. It's such an affordable overnight mask. Just because this doesn't say overnight mask on it doesn't mean you can't use it for that and it's amazing. You could put this on top of your lipstick if you wanted. But if you have dry lips, they are going to go away when you use this. So many of you have written me back and said, this is like the best stuff ever. And it's so affordable. I have it in a huge tub that I keep. But this is perfect for the purse. There's so many lip oils out on the market. Some of them are super pricey, like the Dior, which I've tried. But I bought one on Amazon that was very affordable. This has a little bit of color to it. I really enjoyed it. The packaging is super cute. It does look a lot like the Dior. But I think there are many affordable lip oils, and you really don't have to spend a lot of money for them. They're not going to be long-lasting, but they do add moisture to the lips. They go on nice and thin, so if you don't like a goopy oil, this one goes on nicely. It's thin on the lips. I do have to reapply it if I eat or drink, but I really enjoy wearing it. This is the Guerlain Kiss Kiss Lip Lift. Now, this is very pricey, the most expensive thing in this video. I tried it because there's so few products that are lip primers. Most of them are clear. I've tried almost all of them that are out on the market. I've used the Max, Trish McAvoy I love. I have used uh, the Anastasia. I've used NYX. I've tried all of them because I love having a base underneath my lipstick. I loved the one from Sigma. It was so affordable and they discontinued it. If they didn't, I would still be buying that one. This one doesn't have quite as much color as the Sigma did. What I loved about the Sigma one was it blocked out the color of your own lips. And my lips are very mauve. So I'll often see a lipstick on someone else and think it looks beautiful. And then I try it and I don't like the shade on my own lips. So that's why I purchased this to see if it would work like the Sigma did. It doesn't block out everything, but I still do love it. It smooths out the lips. It does take a little bit of my color out, not fully. Now, I could always use concealer on the lips. That's what a lot of people do. But you have to be careful with that because some of the concealers will dry out your lips. That can happen very quickly. But I do like this. It's on the pricey side but it lasts a long time. Recently, I've been sharing some makeup from a brand called Olac. I've been purchasing this on Amazon and their lipsticks are beautiful. They're very affordable. They're a drugstore price. I like that they have metallics. 
They have satin finish. The satin finish like this, this is very creamy. This is the shade Baby Angel number 13. And I just think it's so beautiful. These lipsticks go on smoothly. They perform like high end. And the packaging is great. It's metallic. Amazing. For this price, I think it can rival many high-end lipsticks, and it's a drugstore price. I went into Sephora recently and asked one of the ladies that worked there, what is one of your top-selling lip products? She quickly took me over to this one from Summer Fridays. This is their Lip Butter Balm. It's beautiful. It is on the pricey side. It runs around $24, but I can see why people love it. It is very moisturizing on the lips. Now, if you're not familiar with this brand, it's a clean brand. It's supposed to have very good ingredients. Uh, even their packaging, they think about recycling. It's vegan. It's cruelty-free, so it ticks a lot of the boxes of things I'm looking for. I love the way it feels on my lips. I bought the shade Vanilla Beige, which was one of their more popular shades, but this is so light on the lips and moisturizing. I think you'll find that even after it's off your lips, your lips feel really great. It has shea butter in it, which really helps with that, but this has become a quick favorite too. I don't often do first impressions. Mm, I never do first impressions, but I just purchased this yesterday. It's new from e.l.f. It's their e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oil. So I wanted to show it today and I really love the feel of it. My first impression is it's a winner. I will update you in a future video how I feel if I still continue to feel that way. Now the red, the only thing I thought maybe it would have a little more color to it because it looks pretty pigmented inside the bottle, but it was very pale, which a lot of women I know will like. You don't like a harsh red. This one here is pink quartz. I thought that was beautiful. It added a little bit of color to my lips, not much but I love the feel of it. Again, it felt very moisturizing. A lot of women love lip oils because they feel so much lighter than a lip gloss. It's not goopy at all. So, so far the e.l.f. is a winner. I had to pull out my Maybelline Super Stay Vinyl Ink. This is so beautiful. This is such an incredible formula. You don't have to worry about putting a gloss on top. It already has so much shine. This is the shade Charmed, and I think it's just a great neutral shade that would work on so many women. I wore black today because I really wanted the shades of the lipsticks to all work with what I was wearing, but this really would work with anything. It's such a neutral color, yet doesn't wash me out. So many neutrals will wash me out, but this one doesn't, and I think the formula is amazing. I don't know how new this is, but it says new on it. It's a matte shade from Revlon 001 if I want to. I love their mattes because they don't perform like most matte lipsticks. They're still hydrating. They go on so smoothly. I've tried so many matte liquid lips that made my lips look so much older than I am. They were very drying on the lips. These are not, I've bought several shades of this line. I love the packaging. The packaging is matte also, uh, but with a little gold around the edge. So I think it's very luxe looking and the formula is also luxe. A little pop of shimmer in the middle of the lips can really elevate a look. I know many of you will go to holiday parties and you want something a little more glamorous to wear. This is from Undone Beauty. This is their Papa Gloss in Radiant Clear. I love this because you could use it with any lipstick you already own. Just pop this on top. You could do your whole lip. I often like to do the center of my lip just to make them look a little fuller, a little poutier. But this formula is beautiful. It's very thin. It's not goopy on the lips. So I like to keep this in my drawer so that anytime I want to add a little something to a lipstick that might look dull, it just elevates the look. I couldn't do a lipstick video without mentioning this one from Flower Beauty. It's one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. 
This is the Mix and Matte Lip Duo, and this shade is Tickle Pink. I have pretty much every shade that they've made of this, but look at what a beautiful pink this is. I'm wearing it right now, and on this side is a metallic gloss that you just put right in the middle like that just to elevate the lips. You could wear it alone too. It's so affordable and this really does perform like high end. I tried this when it first came out and I was sold immediately and wanted to try other shades, which I don't often do because I'm reviewing so many lipsticks. But this formula still rivals high end and is still a favorite of mine. I always have to mention this topper from CoverGirl. This comes with their Outlast liquid lipstick in a set, but you can buy it alone. I love putting it on top of every lipstick I own. It just gives you that glossy look, again, without a goopy feel. It's very thin like any balm would be. I wear it alone sometimes. It's very moisturizing for the lips. It's super affordable and it just really makes the lips look beautiful and smooth. This Sugar Lips from Tree Hut has quickly become a favorite. I love the smell of it. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's their lip scrub and it is so hydrating. It's got a lot of oil in it. So when you put it on, I just gently go over the lips. I feel like when I take it off, I've put on a lip balm because it's so moisturizing. This is getting so many accolades on social media because it really is great. The price is very affordable. The scent of it, the taste of it, it's all a winner. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any videos. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern. I want to thank all of you that have been around so long. I've been on YouTube nine and a half years now, and some of you have been with me since the very beginning. I want to thank you so much. And again, I have linked everything for you so you're not searching all over the internet for these products. The links are in the description of the video and I get a small percentage if you purchase from there and that's what helps me to afford to buy all these things to try out. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have a blessed week and I'll see you soon.